come on then. There we go. That's it. Oh, these glorious birds are called Temminx tragopan. And they're a type of pheasant that's found from India through to China. And they were one of the easiest tragopans to keep, most common in captivity. I've had the beautiful male here for eight years now. But the lovely hen pheasant that's with him is only a year old. And she's got a bit of a dilemma for me. She's been laying eggs after the male's been displaying to her all season. And she's not sitting on any of them. Tragopans are usually extremely good mothers, but in her case, she's only a year old. And while she's laying eggs that are going to be fertile, I think she just lacks the mothering instinct at this moment to hatch them herself. Which means that I'm going to have to use a broody hen a broody chicken hen to hatch the eggs for me. Well, this is my broody setup. Um, I didn't have a lot of space when I started this project, so I've just put the broody hen in my um, vegetable garden in a quiet corner. I think the quiet corner is a really important thing. Um, broody hens should be away from any distraction if you have other birds that's something you definitely want to watch out for that they don't distract the birds I wanted her well away from the other chickens the other chickens will make noises and you know she might want to get back in with them and you know snap out of her broodiness so it's really important that when you do set a broody, you know, she's in a quiet, safe environment. So to that end, I've used three pen sections. So I have a top net over the top to stop anything coming in over the top. And I've just used some um, builder's netting mesh just to um, give a bit of wind protection and also stop her uh, seeing anything that might walk past. Sometimes our neighbor's cats come into the, uh, the garden and you know, we might get a fox at night. She's actually locked down at night, as you'll see. There's not much space in here, but it's all I need just to keep her well protected. So the broody box is something I've made. There's an outer compartment with netting and an inner box that's dark and um, covered from any rain. And she's been in here for about a month now, coming up to a month. Um, and yesterday, the eggs she was sat on just started to hatch, and we'll have a look at them now. So um, every night I've got a slip of wood that I always lock down over her just to keep her in. And here she is, she's a very steady hen um, who's, who's hatched chicks before and that's really important. You can see she's sat perfectly on the, um, on the chicks and the eggs. The interior of the, the box has got a mesh lining but I've just lined it also with cut grass turfs. They were green when they went in. Um, I like grass turfs um, just because they're very natural. Um, I, I usually leave the, the mesh directly under her and put the, t the turfs at either side and the good, uh, good thing about that is it stops the, the eggs rolling out and going anywhere. Let's have a look and see what she's hatched. Good girl, it's alright. 
and you see she's very good and protective. So this is the chick that hatched yesterday. And here's a new chick that's literally just come out. Absolutely perfect. You did a great job. I just take away the egg, broken eggshells. She'll eat some of them. One more egg to go if it hatches at all. I'm not going to mess her around, so I'm just going to put her back on top. There you go. Good girl. And I think I'll just leave her in peace for a bit. And the chicks will be up and about and running around in a couple of days.